Hey, everybody, Ann here. I was out taking Papa for a walk, and I spotted something pretty cool. So I'm going to show it to you right now. A pretty puffball. Decent size. Yeah, I'm going to harvest it and put it in my breakfast with some scrambled eggs. I think it's a rocket stove kind of morning. Oh, yeah, I just got some ghee in there, and I'm going to saute this down a little bit before I add the eggs. Oh, this is going to be so good. And we are almost there, folks. Almost ready to add the eggs. Mmm. This is going to be so good. No, I didn't pre-scramble them. I just cracked them right here into this pan. So I'm going to kind of scramble them up a little bit. And then incorporate the mushrooms. And I already tasted one. So delicious. There we go. Mmm, they're done. Just season with a little salt and pepper. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover it up, take it off the heat, and just let it set for about a minute. Mmm, look at you guys. Yeah, Papa's going to get some too, but I pick out all the mushrooms out of his because I, I don't know if I feel comfortable letting him have mushrooms, <laughs> wild mushrooms. So let me just take a taste of this. Oh, Mm. The thing that's so good about these puffball mushrooms is, well, they absorb the flavors of other things, so they soaked up all that ghee flavor, and they're almost, they, they almost taste kind of like scrambled eggs, um, even if you just saute them in butter or ghee, but this is just absolutely the best breakfast. Mmm. Oh, it's so good, you guys. I wish I could share some with you. I love puffball mushrooms so much. Mm, I'm so glad that they're starting to come up now. In fact, mushrooms are going crazy right now because it's been so damp. So, I've been really thrilled with the finds that I've found. Oh, um, I'm going to show you a picture here in a little bit. I was out walking Papa on uh, Mr. Lucas' property. And I found an amazing mushroom. I thought it was a chicken mushroom, but it's not. So I'll show you that in a little bit. I gotta eat my breakfast first. Mm. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this. I thought, oh, is this one of those hen of the woods? But no, it is not. Hen of the woods is edible. This is an even rarer mushroom. It is a cauliflower mushroom. And so I, I tried to see if I could harvest any of it because it is edible. Um, but unfortunately, it was too encrusted in dirt. And when the dirt gets up on this mushroom, it kind of like grows into the mushroom itself. So there wasn't any part of it that I could harvest and eat. But um, I left quite a bit of it back there on his property. And it grows out of um, basically, it, it grows by red oak and white oak and... Uh, so I left some of it there in hopes that it will grow back or grow more. So yeah, this is this was an amazing find. You can be assured that I'm going to be going back and checking for more at a later date. Okay, I just took the egg turner out. Three more days. I've got them all on the floor in the order that I had them before. Because then I can kind of remember which one looked like on the inside. So I need to get this humidity up. I put some more water in there and I just use a little syringe and some water. So, oh gosh, um, the humidity dropped to 43% overnight. So uh, I'm gonna have to actually add water to it now. I didn't before because it was so humid, but um, the eggs don't have a whole lot of humidity left in them. So now I need to get this humidity up to probably 75, 80%, I think. Okay, the humidity is up to 77%. Um, from what I've read multiple sources during the last three days, it needs to be between 65 and 75. So, I mean, if it gets a little bit higher, I'm just going to leave it. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, neighbor family said that they, I think they said they 
raise the humidity to like 95%. So um, I'm not worried if it gets a little bit higher than 75%. But you guys, I'm just so thrilled. I, I mean, I, I just want to hover. Hover in this spot all day long, but I can't because I got stuff to do. Look at my beautiful beans, you guys. Look, they're growing so fast. I literally just cannot believe it. Look at that. Yeah, it's going to be hot today, so I got to get these watered really well and make sure that they just grow even more. Once they get up a little bit higher, I'm going to put uh, some more of that rabbit compost on it. Just look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to have some peas. Turnips are doing great too. Yep, definitely need some water. The only squash plant I have left, because I pulled all others out and I know there's squash bugs on this. This uh, patty pan squash is not quite ripe yet, but I might have to take it off. Let me see if I can show you what squash bugs look like and what their eggs for those of you who have not seen them before okay you see that those are the eggs yep those are the eggs they've got some little tiny ones that are already hatching out let me see if I can find some actual squash bugs for you these are little tiny ones I pulled a bunch off yesterday and fed them to the chickens but almost every leaf on this plant has eggs I mean I could go around and squish all of them but um, oh, there's some more down there. I don't know if you can see them. It's going to be kind of hard to see. But, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of them. I'm just hoping that this plant will last long enough so this can ripen. I, I might be able to pull it off um, and let it ripen, but I'm not really sure. Look it! I got a green bean. One green bean. I picked a couple off of uh, this plant a little bit earlier. I am so aggravated right now. My phone keeps shutting down because it gets too hot. I mean, I try and go back and shut down all the apps that might be running in the background, but sometimes it just gets hot and shuts down. Oh my gosh, I need a new phone so bad. It's just crazy. I mean, my filming has been terrible for, well, since I got back on this phone, really. Um, so I need to save my panties for a new phone. Anyhow, it's been a great day. I still need to go into Trotter Supply to get some animal feed, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, but we'll just keep this short. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.